Right. Uh, how are you going, guys? So not here. Working on the 50s era white freight liner day cab cab over truck that I'm pu putting on top of a, a Tamiya chassis single drive last time video we were doing this rear of the cab yeah. so I mentioned I was going to measure back from the front to the back my, my door I figure is going to be around 70 to 65 mil wide and then I figured out the distance from the back to the door jam is 35 so I've measured that done that but I'm not going to run a, a bead down here with the bead roller now I'm just going to slice it with the angle grinder and fold this over to make the um, rocker panel and I'll add another piece of metal an off cut from the same metal and use that as the door jam I'll weld that on the inside there when I'm, I'm ready to do that that will just make it easier for me to do I think I, I don't want to lock myself into a, a, a bead line here so that'll give me a bit of freedom to you know adjust things as need be because I'm you know making shit up as I go along and things aren't always exact so yeah, yes, there's a lesson for today's video. Don't be afraid to change your plans. Best laid plans of mice and men as they say. So I'll get on and cut that, fold that, and that should allow this to sit properly on the uh, floor pan. Then, hmm, I don't know, I'll brainstorm a bit more. I had an idea about how I'm gonna join this to that curved front piece that there I was gonna put a, a wee bin and go behind that step it and then I can tack it together but um I don't want to weld things up too much this early on in the game because I don't want to weld myself into a corner yeah I'm kind of making this up as I go along quite a lot so um, you'll know when I know what I do know is I can cut that, bend that. So let's do that. So I put the cuts in and, and folded them down so it's like little uh, rockers there now, so it's all good. The gaps are pretty close. I've got the squares here to keep the front straight and the back of the cab straight and measured the door holes. The far side is 70 at the bottom, 70 at the top pretty much. This one here is about 69 at the bottom and about 68 at the top so this is square so what I'm going to do is shave this to get this cavity 70 wide top and bottom um, 
I'm just thinking about how I'm going to attach these things and but make them removable. I, I need to do the grill, the, you know, the big old chrome grill that these things have, so I don't want to attach this yet. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to tack it in, so I've got one thing that's solid and not going to move, and then I can build around it. When it's all loose, it's very tricky. But I, I'm not too sure, because I know I've got to put some detailing down here and cut this out. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Shaft hide among you would have noticed I've removed the plastic Tamiya fuel tanks since the last video. I won't use them because they're square and the plastic. So I need round tanks for a truck to solve. And I will remove these guards as well. But um, they're not get interfering with anything I'm doing at the moment, so they're there for now. Yeah, progress, progress. I'm just going to stop for a second. I'm going to go and do some stuff with, for the dogs. Uh, then come back out here and think about my next move on this cab. Right, all right. decided to tack the rear of the cab onto the floor pan so it's done I also cut out a bit of the floor pan here at the rear for when I put in the the, the fake engine here just in the back part just so it didn't have the floor pan going across the back so it'll sit straight on top of this gearbox here um, not much to say really it's pretty square this is straight and um, there's still a little bit of flex in this floor pan here so I'm not completely locked in just yet but this is a lot more stable than it was and I want to do that before I start the front and setting that and the, the door frame and the window frame and things like that so and I can easily cut cut the stuff out down here later the the reason I haven't done that is I won't meet here so that when I attach this front piece I've got plenty to play with for tacking things on and then once this is joined I'll, uh, where's that tire? 
I'll trace around the wheel and cut out the wheel arch and do that uh, steep put a hole in there for a steep so yeah good progress I think um, where to next I think I'm gonna mock up how I fit the front of this to this down here I'll have to modify the front down there where they join a little bit make sure it's square uh, 70, 70 across there for the door and then I'm going to think about before I commit this to the uh, floor pan I may build the grill to go in front because once that's on there it's going to be a lot harder to get off excuse me I was not watching the viewfinder so I may put the grill on the front here before I commit this to here because even though it doesn't do it in the real one I may have the grill coming out from behind so I might cut a big hole out here and have the grill come out we'll see but I think cutting up that toaster is what I'm going to do next and do the grill yeah I'll think on that overnight anyway I think that'll do for today's video Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next one, and yeah, see you later.